Hi, my name is Derek Liu, and this is The Art of Making Trailers. One thing I take as a sure sign of an experienced trailer editor is use of accents, which I sometimes refer to as punctuation. That quick cut just now? That was an accent. If you've never thought about them, accents and trailers are kind of like the cutaway shots in shows like 30 Rock or Scrubs. I was part of a special task force of very young looking cops who infiltrated high schools. How do you do, fellow kids? What? Less experienced trailer editors tend to cut lines of dialogue one after another with no accents, and as a result, the pace of the trailer can feel like it lacks energy. For example, now that I've set the expectation in this video that my individual thoughts are going to be broken up by accents, if I just move on to the next thought without one, it'll feel kind of monotonous. It took me a while to really understand how to use accents. I had to watch a lot of trailers and understand how to cut them in between lines of dialogue, and find music which would accommodate them. See, these last few thoughts are all individual individual ideas, but I didn't use any accents in between them, so it's less fun to watch and almost a bit tiring. As if I've been reading a run-on sentence with no commas or periods. Of all the idiot things to do! Because accents make a trailer punchier, add emphasis, this clarify the story, I have returned to wage war, and reclaim our land, and vary the pacing of the trailer. You don't turn your back on them. So what are accents made of? Firstly, accents are generally not part of the trailer's main story as told by the dialogue, narration, or title cards. Sergeant Nicholas Angel, expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, armed response, and high-speed pursuit. If you were to remove them from the trailer, the story would still be comprehensible. It would just be less trailer-like. Sergeant Nicholas Angel, expert in hand-to-hand -hand combat, armed response, and high-speed pursuit. There are infinite ways to cut them, but generally an accent consists of either quick shots, sound effects, dialogue or verbal interjections, or music cue hits and transitions. Let's take a look at the trailer for The Departed. First, I'm going to show it to you with the accents taken out. When I was your age, they would say we could become cops or criminals. What I'm saying is this. When you're facing a loaded gun, what's the difference? This is not the regular police. This is the state police. We are an elite unit. This is who we're after. Frank Costello. Now take a look at the trailer with them in. When I was your age, they would say we could become cops or criminals. What I'm saying is this. When you're facing a loaded gun, what's the difference? This is not the regular police. This is the state police. We are an elite unit. This is who we're after. Frank Costello. Much punchier and more fun to watch, right? Maybe. With no accents, it feels like it just goes from one point to the other. But with the accents, it's like an occasional shot of adrenaline to keep the audience engaged. Think of accents as the punctuation of the trailer. They really delineate the beginning and end of ideas by providing breaths in between them. They're also like the trailer saying to you, by the way, check out this shiny thing. Without the punctuation, the timing is totally different, and the topics discussed in the dialogue aren't nearly as interesting or clear. Accents can also be used to purposefully draw out a scene, because a sudden lack of accents can connect lines of dialogue from different parts of a movie or game, and also make the right scene more dramatic or suspenseful. Never speak on my behalf about my business. Again. Cutting accents into trailers can be very difficult, especially if you don't have the right music. If you listen to a lot of production trailer music, you'll find a great deal of it includes big drum beats every few seconds, so dialogue can slot in the gaps in between, and accents can land on the beats. I always try to make sure dialogue never steps on top of some sort of music transition or climax, which can be used to cut in an accent. You're right. We do. Here goes nothing! That brain was booby-trapped! 
The flow of a good trailer allows the audience to breathe naturally. Somebody please get this man a gun. The dialogue and voiceover moments are when the audience breathes in because they need to be paying attention in order to digest what's being said. And the accents are when they breathe out. It's like a little reward for listening to the dialogue. This team would be dead. Yes, they would. That's the job. Trailers are of course known for their bombast and spectacle, but when watching a trailer, pay attention to whether or not it's giving you those moments to breathe through use of accents. Ethan, that's not who we are. And I think you'll quickly develop a more discerning eye for a well-cut trailer. Yes! Learning to cut accents is difficult, but it's a big step towards becoming a better trailer editor. And here we go. So if right now you find yourself just cutting together lines of dialogue with epic music with no accents in between, try it out. It's impossible. Not impossible. You'll learn a lot and be on your way to becoming a better trailer editor. This will be such fun. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments how you incorporate accents into your own trailers, or if you're just learning about them for the first time. If you made it through this video, it's likely you won't be able to unsee them whenever you watch trailers. Here we go. Please check out my Patreon if you'd like to support the making of these videos, get behind the scenes looks, early access, and my monthly Q&As. And of course, please like, subscribe, hit that bell, and have fun!